Hi guys, Alex here. Uh, today we are going to make a Weaver stocking. Uh, this is the kit that you can buy from Weaver. Pretty inexpensive, if I remember, and pretty simple project to make. Uh, looks great. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so when we open the package, this is what we get. We get a spool of tiger thread. Uh, this is a natural color. Uh, this is for hand sewing. Uh, really nice inclusion with this project. It's very high quality thread and you get quite a bit of it. Uh, I'm not gonna hand sew this, but if you're hand sewing, then this is an excellent thread to use. I would not discard that for something better. Um, piece of wool here. Nice size. And you get two big pieces of the leather in the shape of a stocking. And then this is your little hanging tab. I'll show you how to put it together. Also, two harness needles, uh, nice quality needles. First things first, what I like to do is I like to take my piece of wool that's included and I like to pick at the ends. Uh, you get quite a bit of just slough um, from the ends of this wool. So just pull at the ends and throw that in the garbage. I've only plucked about a quarter of this so far. This is how much I get, so it's, it's a mess. Uh, just pluck it. You'll save yourself some time later. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our leather pieces right here and we're gonna turn them inside out just like that. We're just gonna flip them. And then we're gonna hold the edges even to each other. We're gonna come around with these, I call them bag clips, binder clips. Um, we're gonna come around with binder clips and clip them together. You don't have to go too crazy on them. We're just trying to hold the stocking together. All right, all clipped up. Uh, your next step is you're gonna take your little hanging tab and a piece of sticky tape, pretty small piece, about three quarters of an inch. I just run it lengthwise up the middle like that. And pinch it over like that. Now you have your hanging tab ready to go. Now we're gonna sew this up. Uh, we're just gonna sew right along the edge here, all the way around from this corner, all the way to this corner, around the toe. Uh, I come in about three eighths of an inch, a quarter inch, not, not a huge gap or anything. Uh, most of you, I assume, will probably be hand sewing this. I'm gonna hit it on the machine behind me, the Cobra Class 26, and get it put together. Okay, uh, everything is sewn up. So you can see, I went all the way around just like this. Okay, what we're gonna do next is we're going to install the hanging tab. Uh, what I do is I take this uh, back seam here and I kind of try to roll it down as much as possible so it's not quite so prominent. Um, you can only do so much with this, but I just like to kind of work that leather, get it used to folding over like that. You can see what I'm doing here. And then we are going to, and you can use contact cement instead of sticky tape. Sticky tape's just a little bit faster for me right now. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Take some more sticky tape. I just take a couple pieces two pieces here, 
put it on, put them on one side. I'll show you how I do this. Just like this, a little piece down the center. Take off the ends here. And I'd like to adhere this tab with uh, the center piece. Just center it right on, right on that seam. Kind of stick it down and we're just trying to get it to hold as best we can. This isn't going to hold well at all. Uh, by any means, um, we need to sew it. So we're going to try to run two stitch lines down each side of this, on each side of the seam, and uh, tack this tab in place. Okay, so we're back. Uh, the tab has been sewn on. It is not pretty at all because the sewing machine is hard to do lines like this just based on how I have to hold the project on there but this is not an area that's really going to be seen that well so it's not a huge deal if you had the time to hand sew it on there then it would be much more attractive and uh, a better stitch and everything that hand sewing this tab on here is the way to go if you're pressed for time and you have a sewing machine that's faster not easier um, as you can see I have some double-sided sticky tape placed along the bottom edge of this piece of wool. Uh, it's on the, the leathered side, not the hair side of the wool. And I have left off a little bit on each side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off that tape. I'm going to lay this down basically like that to where the tape comes up even with the edge, gives me about three quarters of an inch of adherence to the stocking, and then has a little bit of non-stickied leather that overhangs this tab here. And then I'm going to wrap it around just like that and do the same thing there. And as you can see, it lines up pretty well. Sticky tape comes right up to the tab. So I'm gonna stick that on there and then we'll sew it on. All right, so this next part is, in my opinion, the hardest part of the stocking and just the hardest part to sew, hand sewing or machine sewing. Um, we, we have our wool adhered to the stocking. Like I mentioned, our tab here just kind of overhangs the tab. And now I need to sew I need to make sure not to sew through the wool. I need to pull the wool back and hit the leather that's underneath the wool and sew this wool all the way around the circle that is the opening of the stocking. Uh, it's hard to do it on a machine just because of the way that uh, you have to lay it down and basically open this up. If you didn't have a cylinder arm machine, I, I'm not sure how you'd do it. Maybe with a post bed, but not with uh, a flat bed. I think that would be di very difficult. You'd have to pull one side way back. And with hand sewing, you have to sew through hair because uh, you're just trying to fit your needle through the holes that are covered up with all this thick wool. Um, so it's just difficult. It's just something that you got to get through and just do it. You just got to make it work. Okay guys, um, we got the stocking sewn on. Uh, the leather is now adhered, or the wool is now adhered to the leather of the stocking. What we need to do now is reach inside the stocking like this, grab this toe, and start pulling it, pulling it through. Uh, if you skive the edges of your leather before you start sewing it together, it'll make this process easier. I did not, because I know it's not necessary. Uh, it just only makes things easier. I know I can do this without skiving. 
and also that's the time on this video. So I did not do that step. It's, as you can see, it's not crucial. It will pull out. And then just keep working it. You want to get the whole area here, the heel that I'm working on right now. This is the toe. Get it all expanded. I need to roll up my sleeves here. Stocking is just a little tight and the sleeves make it harder to slip my arm through. So I get my hand in there and I, I push out on the seam all the way through the heel and the entire length of the stocking. I'm just pushing out on that seam and I'm helping open it up and make it lay just a little bit more flat. Do that with the entire length of this seam, especially in the rounded areas of the toe. The bottom of the foot has a little bit of a curve and the heel. It'll make everything appear more rounded. As you can see, the, the wool, the way it's sewn on, hangs up like this. You just roll it down like that. Roll it up to the seam. And then your tab kind of extends past. Everything's pretty much hidden up with the flap of this wool. Your tab extends and you have this nice stocking. That I think looks really good. And if there's any areas that you see that draw your attention, you can get in there and just push on that seam a little bit more and that may help it out a little bit. Here's just a better overall view. I laid a ruler down there. This is a one foot, just to give you a sense of scale here. And one thing I forgot to mention is if you plan on doing more of these, but you don't wanna pay whatever Weaver is charging for the kit, then you can buy one kit uh, immediately trace the pieces onto a piece of poster board and then you have a pattern for the stocking. And our last step of course is we take our stockings, we hang them with care in hopes that St. Nicholas will soon be there. Right, Cooper says hi. The dog behind the brand. Merry Christmas, guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, really easy project. With filming included, this thing took me less than an hour, about 45 minutes, and that's what's setting up the camera and redoing shots and things like that. Uh, the Weaver stocking kit, you get it off Weaver Leather Supply. I think it's about like $27, $30, something along those lines. I'll throw a picture up of it throughout this video. And again, if you want to just buy one kit, have the pattern and make a lot more for less than what the kit costs, just trace out the pieces onto a piece of cardboard and cut them out and then you can make them for whatever your price of leather and fur is. Uh, if you like this video, I hope you did. I hope you took something from it. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, comments are definitely appreciated. They help the algorithm. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, bye.